do you ever feel like you're doing all the pursuing when it comes to a specific person? You like someone, but they don't seem to reciprocate your feelings. Or maybe they do show interest, but then they back off and you don't know why? What we are going to show you in this video will flip this situation and make it to your advantage. It may be time to stop chasing a specific person and start doing this instead. By the end of this video, you will learn how to stop chasing after that one specific person and what to do instead to make them chase you. So make sure to give this video your full attention. If you're new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. I'll try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Let's start. Step 1. Don't make it easy for them. Okay, we get it. You really like this one person and it isn't the nicest tactic in the world, but the harsh reality is that the more available you become, the less likely someone is to be interested in you. According to the scarcity principle, invented by Robert Cialdini, objects that are rare, unique, or limited in time will make people desire them more. So what are you supposed to do? The answer is easy. Make yourself scarce. Make them think you're busy. Let them initiate it instead. If you want your crush to be the one going after you instead of the other way around, always wait for them to make the first move. Don't be the one who always hits them up to arrange a meeting. Don't be the one replying immediately to the message. And whatever you do, never act in a way that makes you look desperate or overeager, because that's a huge turnoff for a lot of people. And the easiest way to do this is actually to keep yourself busy. Studies have shown that people are perceived to be more attractive when they're popular, well-liked, and living exciting lives. This way, you're not just sitting around waiting for them to hit you up either. Live your life, follow your goals, spend time with your friends, and do the things you like. Have plenty of fun without them. And be sure to show them that your world certainly doesn't stop when they're not around. And funnily enough, this will make them more likely to text you. Step 2. Show them what they're missing out on. Now this next one might seem like the complete opposite of the last, but keep watching because it'll all be explained in a moment. This is something called the mere exposure effect. According to a psychological study by R.B. Zajonk, this is a phenomenon in which people start to prefer something just because they have developed familiarity with it. This is why certain products in ads are constantly being repeated during your favorite programming's commercial breaks. The more familiar you are with something, the more you'll start to like it, and the more likely they are to start pursuing you. So how do you stay close to them without making yourself available? Simple. Make a lot of Instagram stories and send them cool snaps of you having the time of your life with your friends. And that's another thing. Research shows that people tend to find others more attractive when they are in groups than on their own. This is the cheerleader effect, which has been proven through multiple studies to work consistently. So do cool hangouts with your friends and make sure they know just what they're missing out on. Take a little detour that will make them run into you, and then you can tell them all about this exciting thing you're doing right now. Keep yourself in their minds, and they just might start thinking about you even when you're not there. And who knows, they might be brave enough to ask you out instead. Step 3. Stay close to them physically. So, let's say you find yourself hanging out with them, even if it's completely casual. What's the next step here? A study from the American Journal of Sociology proved that staying physically close to someone increases the chances that they'll like you. If you're trying to get someone to chase after you, try to stay nearby as often as you can. And don't underestimate the power of casual touch either. Harvard psychologist Zick Newman says touching that one person you like will increase your sense of comfort and intimacy with them. Don't be afraid to do that little tap on the arm or touch your knees if you happen to be sitting together because it definitely helps. But be careful with this one because some people hate physical touch or might be uncomfortable with it. If you think you're invading someone's boundaries or making them uncomfortable with your casual touches or physical proximity, back off immediately. But even if this one isn't the answer to your specific situation, there are plenty of other tips that will definitely work for you, like this next one. Step 4. Adrenaline might be your answer. 
A study from 1974 found that people who were put in scary or exciting situations, which in this case was a shaky bridge, tended to be much more attracted to their fellow subjects than the control group that had walked over a completely safe bridge. Now, taking someone over a bridge that can fall apart is probably not a good idea, but a roller coaster ride or a good old haunted house might just do the trick. It turns out amusement park dates work. Who would have thought? If they view you as someone who is excited, or if they start to relate you to all the fun they had somewhere, they're much more likely to start having a crush on you instead. Now that we've got the initial stuff covered, let's get to the really important things that can make or break someone's interest in you. Step 5. Mimic them. Don't start acting creepy in front of your crush by doing exactly what they're doing. Try to subtly copy their body language and expressions. Mimicking someone might seem like something a five-year-old would do, but trust science, this one works. Why? According to a study from the Journal of Non-Human Behavior, we love people who act like us. Think about how someone is feeling at the moment and try to empathize with them. If someone thinks you understand them or think the way they do, they're much more likely to want to spend more time with you. This leads us to the next point. Step 6 learn to truly listen. This might be one of the biggest make or break things people will look for. If you're a good listener, chances are people will gravitate towards you. Way too many people ramble in front of people they like, but this is pretty much the worst thing you can do. Studies by the University of Washington and the University of Nevada have proven that people tend to be more attracted to those who listen to them. There are a lot of people who are just waiting to steer the conversation so they can talk about themselves immediately, and that never works out well. Think about it. Wouldn't you want to be closer to someone who listens to your problems and seems to understand? The bottom line is that we all love talking about ourselves. So if you happen to be with that one special person, listen to what they're saying. Ask follow-up questions and whatever you do, don't make it about you. If you don't trust the video, trust the science. It'll make them swoon. Step 7. Show confidence. According to a study conducted by Bale and Archer in 2013, confidence is one of the most attractive qualities a person can have. So if someone thinks of you as confident, chances are they'll be chasing after you. And hey, confidence is a good quality to have regardless of whether you want to get someone interested in you or not. So hold your head up high, smile, and be friendly. Talk to people in an easygoing and charming manner. Go up on stage or the dance floor even if you're scared. Basically, let them know what a great catch you are, and they'll be tripping over themselves trying to chase you. Be careful not to overdo it though, because someone who is boastful or arrogant can have the opposite effect on people. And someone who is closed off is completely unapproachable. Now this leads us to the final point. Step 8. Be vulnerable. This is probably the most important thing on this list. For a Modern Love column from 2015, a writer tried a scientifically backed experiment that had two people ask each other 36 questions that became increasingly personal. The questions are designed to be uncomfortable at times and create an intimacy that would normally take much longer to develop. Of course, it's not easy to bring up that exact set of questions naturally in a conversation, but you don't have to. Just like all the previous examples of the exposure effect and touching someone casually, the more familiar you are with someone, the more likely they are to be interested in you. Tell them about yourself, and in return, let them tell you about yourself as well. If you want someone to fall in love with you, be open and vulnerable with them, but make sure not to overdo it. It's not easy, but it has the potential to be totally worth it. Well, there you have it. That's the tried and true method to get anyone interested in you. And it's completely backed by science, too. Comment down below about what worked for you and what didn't, and any other tips you'd like to share. Now, you need to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. It will show you exactly what to do when someone ignores you. Make sure to watch it now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.